A business deciding to enter the international market often must consider which foreign markets to enter, when to enter, on what scale to enter, as well as the choice of entry mode. Today, I'll be focusing on modes of entry, which are basically channels and organization used to gain entry into a new international market, and I'll just give a brief description of few. So we have exporting, and exporting is when a good or service is produced in one country and sold into another country. Storing and processing is mainly done in the supplying firm's home and can increase the sales volume over time. So some stuff that Jamaica may export are like bauxite, coffee, banana, and so on. Then we have a turnkey project, and this is a contract under which firms agree for a remuneration to fully carry out the design, create and equip the production facility, and then shift the project over to the purchaser once the facility is fully operational. Then we have licensing, and this is an agreement between a business owner and another entity whereby the business owner called the licensor grants the rights to intangible property, so copyright, patent, trademarks, to a manufacturer of a foreign country known as the licensee for a specific period of time, and in return, the licensor receives a royalty fee. Franchising is somewhat similar to licensing in which an independent firm called the franchisee does business using the name of another business called the franchisor, which the franchisee has to pay a fee or a fraction of profit to the franchisor. The franchisor provides the trademarks, operating process, product reputation and marketing, HR and operational support to the franchisee. Then we have our wholly owned subsidiaries, and this is a company whose common stock is fully owned by another company known as the parent company. This may emerge through acquisition or spin-off from the parent company. An example is Marvel Entertainment and EDL Holding Company, LLC, which are wholly owned subsidiaries of the Walt Disney Company. We have a joint venture, and this is two or more firms coming together to create a new business entity while having shared ownership. So an example of this is Red Stripe and Pepsi-Cola signing a deal to form a 50-50 sales distribution joint venture called Celebration Brands Limited. So I hope you do get some information on the different type of entry modes a business may use to enter the international market. Thank you.